Welcome to this month's Lawyers Weekly Law Report. I'm Lara Bullock, a journalist for Lawyers Weekly. We begin this edition by looking at the push to take the Uniform Law National. The Uniform Law aims to standardise practising certificates, billing arrangements, complaint handling processes, professional discipline issues and continuing professional development across Australian states. The framework has been operating successfully in New South Wales and Victoria for three months. However, other states are yet to sign on. New South Wales Attorney General Gabrielle Upton is now lobbying for other Attorney Generals to adopt the framework. Ms Upton said, I think there's even less excuse now for other states. We have a model that works. The investment has been made into the infrastructure and the rules and regulations. There's a template. After months of speculation, national firm Gaydens and global firm Dentons announced plans to vote on a joint merger. The deal will also include Singapore-based firm Roddick and Davidson and Chinese firm Da Cheng, which merged with Dentons in January. Dentons is currently the world's largest law firm. If the proposed tie-up went ahead, it would have over 7,000 lawyers across 50 countries. Gaydens National Chairman Ian Clark said, If approved, the combination would see Gaydens' substantial strengths in finance, real estate and energy, combining with market-leading global practices at Dentons. Partners at the firms will vote on the merger in mid-November. This month, Barrister Julian McMahon, who acted for the executed Bali Nine ringleaders, was named the Victorian Australian of the Year 2016. Mr McMahon has a long history of acting without a fee for Australians facing the death penalty abroad, including Van Nijgen in Singapore, George Forbes in Sudan, and Andrew Chan and Mayuran Sukumaran in Indonesia. Victorian Bar President James Peters said, Julian McMahon is an outstanding example to the legal profession and to the community. Lawyers Weekly was pleased to announce the Women in Law Awards finalists this month. Winners will be revealed at a black tie event in Melbourne in November. Join us to celebrate outstanding female talent in the industry. That's it for this month's Law Report. You can follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, or follow all the breaking news on Lawyers Weekly's website.